Hi, I'm Mitch Jensen. I uh, work for Goose Transport Services based out of Wondai in the South Burnett in South East Queensland. Um, they're about two years old now, the trailers and the dolly, uh, built by Lusty EMS in Brisbane. Um, they're a B double slash road train set, uh, just a 28 and a 34 footer with a sliding A trailer. That there doubles as your B double A or your uh, road train lead. Seven foot sides, mainly built for um, cotton seed, but they are pretty versatile when it comes to light, light grain. Any light products like these almonds themselves they haven't given us any dramas or BPW running gear. Disc brakes, you know, they've been really good and reliable. Uh, these ones in particular, we got what they call a Durabright side foot on them. Uh, it's like a, a shine, uh, a clear coat shine painted to the to the sides uh, to stop them from staining and every time you wash them they come up like new. In this particular road train configuration we've got a, a triaxle lusty EMS dolly. Triaxles were never, have only really become popular in the last couple of years since New South Wales opened up their state to triaxle dollies and be able to carry full weight on them. There's certain places in New South Wales now that we can go that other places that other people can't with the triaxle dolly under permit. Uh, it has opened up a lot of areas of New South Wales that you could previously not get to with a road train. And braking and handling of them, uh, the way they handle now as a road train, you, you just wouldn't even look back to a bogey dolly. There is still circumstances where bogey dollies are required, but um, now, in this day and age, how they handle on the, on the roads these days is absolutely incredible. Uh, they really have come of age, I suppose, yeah. On the, lead, on the slider hay trailer, it has a removable kingpin on the front, in front of your normal D-double kingpin. It's a matter of taking out one bolt, really, and taking it in and out. It lengthens your pull point on your, on your lead trailer as a road train and makes it tow a hell of a lot better. No, with the setup with the disc brakes, they're really good. You know, you know you've got them when you need them. For a combination like this, these days we have to be versatile and have to be able to do B-double work and road train work in one and you can't always afford to have trailers sitting around. Um, it just adds to the, um, to the versatility of the, of, the, of the outfit, I suppose, yeah. They make, make good gear, yeah, for sure. The, um, their backup service is second to none, really. And it's not very often we're breaking down on the side of the road, if at all. We're here unloading a load of uh, second grade almonds that have come up from in between Yamba and Loxton in South Australia. Uh, virtually what they are, just almonds that haven't met the, the A grade down there, or the bleached, uh, blanched, sorry, um, colours not right, weight, size, any defect that uh, they can't sell on the shelf. Um, and they've been brought up here via road train um, to Pressed Purity Oils in Kingaroy, where they're going to make almond oil out of them. And the oil, I believe, is sent to Spain for use in cosmetics. Yeah, we sort of spent the day splitting up the road train at Dolby and bringing it over here one at a time. Not much else you could put on it to make it a more productive or, or reliable outfit. Well, yeah, the gear, the gear being built in Australia, the trailers in the truck, like the truck, Bayswater trailers, Brisbane, like I said, like, they're made in Australia, they suit Australia, they're made to handle the roads here, and um, they are up to the job. That, we have to put them through at times. When you're going to pick your trailers up, there's nothing more you can ask for, everything's on them. Yeah, from your corner cleaners to your grain chutes, your toolboxes, everything's just finished and they're so easy to use. Uh, User-friendly, yeah, you, um, they're the best on the market by far.